At 8.30 on Saturday morning, June 5th, two major leaks were reported. One along the right embankment about 130 feet from the top, and another larger leak on the downstream toe of the dam. At 10 o'clock, one more large leak developed near the top. Crews working with bulldozers tried to plug the leaks. Suddenly, the drivers leaped to safety. The widening hole opened and swallowed the machines. There was nothing more to do. Lynn Schwindemann and his wife, who had been on the observation point, raced down the canyon ahead of the water, warning residents in the houses near the mouth of the Teton Canyon. The flood caught two fishermen unprepared. Daryl Grigg and David Benson were fishing on the Teton River just below the canyon. The swirling edge of the flood, full of debris, caught them. Grigg was jammed into a pile of logs and pinned against a tree. With a collapsed lung and broken ribs, he painfully climbed the tree only to wait fearfully for it to break and sweep him away. 